The Sooners kind of kicked things off on a sour note. Two players were suspended and did not play. Torrance Marshall and Brandon Everidge did not suit up for violation of team rules. On the other hand, a record was broken before the game even started. The 106 degree kickoff was the hottest ever for an OU season opener. The Sooners take the field for the first time in 2000. A sold out Memorial Stadium was there to welcome OU. UTEP head coach Gary Nord wasted no time going to the book of tricks, opening the game with an onside kick. Trick number two, a reverse on the first play from scrimmage for the Miners. Lee Mays couldn't hang on, and Corey Heineke was there to recover at UTEP 17. The Sooners capped off a three-play 17-yard drive on a Josh Heifel quarterback keeper to put OU up 7-0 after the extra point. The Sooner defense was solid. Jinx product Rocky Kalmus breaks through the line to drop Ravon Cleveland for a three-yard loss. Miners again going with trickery. A fake punt on a fourth and short gives UTEP new life, and the offense capitalizes. Rocky Perez hits Allen Ray on a 41-yard completion to put UTEP in the red zone. The Miners tie it up when Perez finds Paul Tessier in the end zone to finish a six-play drive covering 62 yards. The Sooners struggling with the running game stay with the pass. Heifel scrambles and lofts a pass over the shoulder of Quentin Griffin and hauls it down to the four-yard line. Two plays later, Heifel hits Trent Smith in the corner of the end zone for OU's second score of the game. The Sooners go back up 14-7. Later in the first quarter, OU staying with the pass. Heifel has all day to hit Antoine Savage streaking up the field. He's finally brought down at the six-yard line for a gain of 39. Unable to go anywhere on the ground, the Sooners go three straight incompletions and settle for a field goal to put OU up 17-7. In the second quarter, OU gets a big defensive play deep in UTEP territory. Perez is picked off by Roy Williams. He exchanges it for a 35-yard touchdown, and the Sooners begin to pull away 24-7. OU threatens again late in the second half. Booker T. Washington's own Ronaldo works, gets the shovel pass, and almost gets in before getting pushed out of the two-yard line, and the Sooners settle for another field goal and send it to half 27-7. In the second half, Works finally does get in the end zone on a 14-yard run. Ronaldo stole the show. I don't think there's any question, and uh, we're all excited about that. The team is. Uh, he really uh, sh showed some explosiveness and power in there, and um, the offensive line did a nice job creating some space for him. Does it feel a little bit surreal? I mean, you can, have you, have you kind of realized what has happened tonight and what you've done? I have no idea yet. <laughs> I, probably, I do, but then I guess I don't. I really don't know. I mean, to me, a win is a win, and that's what we did. He came in there and acted like he was a senior, you know, running the ball, carrying people into the end zone. He looked pretty good. The final from Norman, 55-14. The Sooners walk away with the win. They savor it for a little while, but already they're starting to prepare for the Arkansas State Wonder Boys. In Norman, Jason Shackle for 2 News NBC Sports.